What did he do? Something awful. How awful? Because these are all multiplayer games. <laughs> Apparently, there is a little girl in Jake's class named Barbara Schmidt, who is a little more physically developed than the uh, other girls. And Jake decided to make a picture of her and pass it around. <laughs> person. What I've been after that was not my responsibility. Oh, dude, why'd you sign it? Okay, that part I regret. Go back to your room. Hubra Schmidt. Getting this one on the refrigerator. Charlie, this is serious. It really speaks to me. The girl went home in tears. Her mother is on the warpath, and Jake could get expelled. For a silly drawing? It's considered sexual harassment. The school has a zero-tolerance policy. Oh, for the good old days when you could wander into the girl's locker room pretending you were blind. <laughs> you actually did that? That's horrible. No, the horrible part was stealing the dog from the blind kid. <laughs> well, unfortunately, times have changed, and we no longer live in a Porky's movie. Close the door! I'll be in to talk with you in a minute. Oh, go easy on him. He doesn't understand what he did wrong. Are you waiting to see the principal? Uh, yeah. Oh, have a seat. Thank you. Um, Alan. Mindy. Nice to meet you. You too. <sighs> Um, you must be Boober's mom. <laughs> Barbara's mams. Let me tell you something. Puberty is hard enough for a young girl without having to be leered at and made fun of by obnoxious little boys. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more, and I can assure you that I have had a long talk with Jake about how wrong it is to objectify women's... Up here. I'm up here. I know. I know. I see you. And, and, and let me tell you something. There is no one more sympathetic than I to the plight of the large-breasted woman. <laughs> Flight? It's not an affliction. Well, no, not the, the breasts themselves, but, but the attendant back problems associated with carrying the enormous load. <laughs> so now my breasts are a load. From a strictly engineering standpoint, yes. <laughs> see, see, I am a chiropractor, and I deal with the heartache of MMS all the time. MMS? Massive memory syndrome. It's a term I, I coined in an article I submitted to the Journal of the American Chiropractic Association. Uh, it hasn't really caught on. Anyway, MMS is particularly acute among strippers, but they bring it on themselves with those humongous implants. <laughs> Yours, on the other hand, appear quite natural. Uh, God-given, am I right? What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. You know... In my defense, well, well, in defense of all men, we do live in a mammocentric society. Mammocentric? Another coinage of mine hasn't really permeated the cultural zeitgeist. Hey, bottle baby, I'm up here. That, that perfectly illustrates my points. Point. <laughs> From the moment we are born, we are basically bombarded by breasts. Breasts in advertising, breasts in television, breasts in movies, here a breast, there a breast, everywhere a breast, breast. <laughs> Heck, you, you can understand the fixation. You're a horrible little man. Okay, okay, I had hoped that we could have a spirited exchange of ideas here, but if we are going to just degenerate into name-calling, perhaps we should wait for the principal to decide what a reasonable punishment for my son would be. Fine, we'll let the principal decide. Okay. I'm Principal Gallagher. Oh, God, my boy's gonna get the chair. 